In this video, I'd like to do a couple things. First, I'd like to show you Live Binder and how it relates to sixth grade English. I'd also like to show you Quizlet and how to use a few tools in that. To get to Live Binder, I just Google our school's website. And once I'm at the school's website, I need to click on junior high and I'm going to click on sixth grade. Once I've clicked on sixth grade, I'm going to scroll down. And as I'm scrolling down, I'm going to pay attention to this side of the page right here, the right side. And you'll notice where it says sixth grade live binder. Click on that and it'll take you right to it. The first page in live binder is a live homework page. And what this is, is teachers update this every day with the latest assignments. A lot of times when uh, we make our lesson plans, things tend to change quite a bit. So this is a lot more useful because it's an up-to-date version of assignments. If you take a look at my English assignments, most of the time English assignments will be blue and, and underlined. And what this is, is this is a link. So if you were to click on it, you'd have to double click it. And click on the link, it'll pop up and it'll take you right to the actual assignment. And I do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, if a student loses an assignment and they'd like to complete it at home, they always have access to it if they have internet connection. I also do this to let parents see exactly what we work on in class. So if you ever want to see one of our assignments, just click on it. Let's go back to Live Binder. Uh, notice how each teacher has a tab, and there's other tabs too, like Gradebook and Lunch Menu and things like that. Notice there's a Google Classroom tab, AR tab, but each teacher has a tab. And what teachers do is they put in specific resources in their tab to help students. So if we click on My tab, Notice how we have two sub-tabs. We have an English quiz link, and then we also have YouTube videos. Now, last year, I, I uploaded a lot of YouTube videos on LiveBinder. This year, now that we have Google Classroom, I probably won't put as many YouTube videos on LiveBinder because I use Google Classroom much more often. Quizlet, this link here, all you have to do is click on it, and it takes you to a new page. And what Quizlet is, is it's a fun way to practice vocab words. In fact, I recommend students devote like 10 minutes each night using Quizlet to practice their words. When you get to Quizlet, now mine's going to look a little different because this is a teacher version. You only see a, you know the amount of sets that I have open. Uh, but when you get to Quizlet, click on the, the biggest number set. And if you're not advanced, click on the biggest number set that does not see advanced. So let's say that this week we're in list four. Notice how we have list four advanced. Well, if I'm not advanced, I wouldn't click on that. You just click on the regular lesson four and it takes you to our words. So it has our words, our definitions, and a lot of times I simplify the definitions on here versus the vocab sheet you get. Uh, and I make sure the definitions really match what they're looking for in the quiz. So to me, this is a, a probably a little bit more concise uh, resource versus the list I give out. Also notice up top, we have all kinds of things we can do. We have flashcards we can create. Uh, you can take a, a practice test. The thing that I find uh, that kids like the most are the games. In fact, if you sign up for Quizlet, uh, you can compete against each other, like matching the quickest time or, or getting the highest score in gravity. So this is definitely a, a great resource. As always, if you ever have any questions about any of these resources, please don't hesitate to ask.